first of all, good morning. And we want to congratulate you on becoming a mom recently. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been an exciting journey. Yeah. How's the transition been getting back to racing post-pregnancy just four months in? It was daunting at first, but I was able to train up until the day before I delivered. I had a scheduled C-section because the baby was breached, so I was able to know exactly when I would be done, and I did a trainer workout the day before I went to the hospital to deliver the baby. So postpartum, they said four to six weeks before I could even consider riding, but 10 days later, I was able to do some easy pedaling, and little by little, it's just, you know, I've listened to my body. I don't push it too much when... You know, there's any signs saying back off, but I've been able to get back into racing. And it's been awesome to balance racing and then looking over on the sidelines and seeing my husband holding up my daughter as I go by. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Is there anything that you didn't expect coming back from the, the pregnancy? Every single thing about pregnancy, childbirth, and becoming a mother is unexpected. 100% <laughs> of it. <laughs> uh, so... The answer would be everything. Um, I didn't expect that it would actually be so smooth transitioning back to racing. I think, you know, I have an excellent coach. I have a great partnership with Cyclops. They set me up with a smart trainer that I was able to use to train throughout the pregnancy and get in great workouts that my coach would build back home in Virginia while I was in Arizona. And I didn't expect to have such strong fitness, but, you know, using the trainer, using those workouts and just staying focused on the finish line of childbirth and then ultimately getting back to racing gave me what I needed to be able to transition back to racing fairly seamlessly. So I came out of pregnancy with no top end, but I go to the hard Arizona group rides. I get as much work in there. And when it came time to start racing, my first race back, the Dana Point Grand Prix, I was kind of like, yeah, this is actually not as hard as the group rides. Like This feels good. And so I think that was probably the most unexpected part, that and everything about being a mother. <laughs> so this weekend, you're going to be racing in what you call your hometown race, the Armed Forces Cycl Cycling Classic. And in your bio, you mentioned that last year's race was your best moment so far in your cycling career. Tell us a bit about that race and why it's such a highlight. Well, it's amazing to come back home from traveling around the country all season and be able to do a national level race on an awesome course here in my hometown. Because not only is it the people I love racing with nationally, but it's also the people that I like racing with locally. Plus my friends come out, my family comes out. It's really cool to be able to race in front of my parents um, and just be at home. Uh, I'm from Northern Virginia and just the comfort of being able to get in the car and drive 25 minutes to the race is awesome. Um, last year was really special in particular because I actually found out two days before the race that I was pregnant. So I knew that it was going to be my last, or assumed it was going to be my last race before I took time off to be pregnant. And I didn't know, you know, going into pregnancy, you always think, oh, I'm going to come back after. But I didn't know for sure. So part of me was thinking maybe it could be it. I don't know. So I went out last year and just gave it 100%. Had an amazing time. I got to race with a teammate who had been sidelined with injury up until that point. And She's one of my favorite people to race with, uh, Julie Kaliza, and it was just so cool to get to do that race at home with my family and my friends there, race with Julie, and you know, ultimately, it was a successful weekend, and I was able to get the most heroic rider jersey on the Saturday race, which was awesome, just a really special moment. That was the second time that you were awarded the heroic rider jersey, correct? Um. I think it's been several times. Several <laughs> times. Are you going for a repeat of that this year? Well, I can't answer that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so much. I think my racing style in general tends to lend itself to that, what the judges look for in that. Um, I'm not a sprinter and I'm not, you know, I'm not a climber. So my, my racing style in general is to be aggressive. I'm usually either working as a domestique or I've been asked to do things like animate the race or try and get up the road and win from a break. So that means lots of attacks. That means being aggressive. And I believe in looking at who to give that jersey to, the judges are looking for someone that rides like that. So it's not necessarily saying, okay, I'm going to go for it this weekend, but it's looking at the race and figuring out how can my team be most successful. Maybe that means me trying to get up the road, which means lots of attacks, which ultimately seems to be something that the judges like. And ultimately, it's also good for the fans. It's more fun, I think, when you have riders animating the race, going off the front instead of, you know, 60 women circling 
a course for an hour and then sprinting for the finish line. Definitely makes it more exciting to watch. Before you race, do you have any kind of a pre-race ritual? I ride the trainer. I ride the trainer no matter what, though. I ride the trainer whether it's like raining, whether it's beautiful out, whether I'm racing, not racing, if I'm sick, injured, I ride the trainer. But for me, I, I insist on having a good warm-up. I know my body performs better if I've had time spinning the legs before I get started. So especially for a course like Clarendon on Saturday or Crystal City on Sunday where there's not great roads in the area to do a nice warm-up, I'll hop on the trainer and I'll spin for ideally 30 to 40 minutes just to get my legs moving. So that's probably my only absolute must-have pre-race ritual. Gotcha. You have to get the engine warmed up, right? Well, in the sake of trying to keep this a little bit brief, I'm going to jump into a couple of speed round questions, and we're going to wrap this up. So one-word answers here, crit or road race? Crit. Sweet or savory? Undecided. Undecided. Oh, you can't possibly pigeonhole me. I'm a, I'm a foodaholic. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Night owl or morning person? Morning. Coffee or tea? Coffee. I see you had your mug there earlier, so I wasn't sure what was in it. Zena Coffee, wonderful sponsor of our team. Perfect. And this one's kind of regional, and you've been on both coasts, so Twizzlers or Red Vines? Twizzlers. Twizzlers. Absolutely. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. We look forward to cheering for you and the entire Hagens-Berman team this weekend. Have a great race. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.